Jonas Vingegaard, the young climber who went from working in a fish market to winning the Tour de France. Jonas Vingegaard was born on the 10th of December 1996 in Hillerslev, Denmark. His father said that as a child, Jonas's first love of sport came from football. Jonas first started to fall in love with cycling after his father took him to the Tour of Denmark, which started in the town that they lived in. His father took him there and that was the beginning of it. He started slowly getting into it. Jonas loved cycling from the beginning and he gradually realised that he wanted to turn pro. His first job was in a fish auction. Michael Valgren coincidentally had the same job before he turned pro. It was the same fish auction, same job, Valgren told Cycling Weekly. I used to work there from 6 to 11 in the morning and Jonas did more or less the same thing. But then he got another job with a friend of mine, also in the fishing industry. Jonas made an impact from the very beginning of his cycling career, excelling in a test organised by his local club. Weeks later he rode to a podium position in a race, although it was clear that the terrain in Denmark wasn't exactly suited to his lightweight build. Only once he arrived in more hilly regions, his strength as a climber was highlighted. Vingegaard signed with UCI Continental team Colo Quick in 2016. In his first year with the team, he finished second in the Tour of China. His climbing abilities were eventually noticed by Jumbo Visma. Jumbo Visma's sport director, Grisha Neerman, is close friends with one of the DS's at Vingegaard's development team. The DS on Colo Quick told the World Tour sports director to keep an eye on Vingegaard. We saw some data points and although he didn't have a lot of results, we could see there was a big margin to gain, Neerman told Velo News. He has already taken some big steps. One of those data points was during a team training camp in March of 2018. Vingegaard was noticed by Jumbo Visma after posting the third fastest time up the Col de Rats climb in Spain. His power to weight ratio was an eye-watering 6.59 watts per kilo for 14 minutes. Vingegaard signed for Jumbo Visma for the 2019 season. He achieved his first UCI World Tour win in stage 6 of the Tour de Pallone. He was second in GC at the Tour of Denmark and was second in the youth classification of the Deutschland Tour. He rode his first Grand Tour in 2020 where he was a domestique for Primoz Roglic at the Vuelta Espana. In 2021 he won his stage of the UAE Tour. He also finished second at the Tour of the Basque Country ahead of Tadej Pogacar. Vingegaard went to the 2021 Tour de France as a domestique for Primoz Roglic. But after Roglic crashed out, Vingegaard was the team's only general classification contender. With a very impressive performance, he managed to take second overall, becoming the first Danish rider to take a podium at the Tour de France since 1996. Vingegaard entered the 2022 Tour de France as a second leader of Jumbo Visma after his teammate Primoz Roglic. However, he became leader of the team after Roglic lost time. In the legendary stage 11, Vingegaard used his whole team to attack Pogacar, wearing him down. Eventually, Pogacar cracked and Vingegaard used his incredible climbing ability to gain almost 3 minutes on Pogacar in a single day. Since stage 11, Vingegaard rode defensively, always riding close behind Pogacar and following his many attacks. Vingegaard even waited for Pogacar after Pogacar crashed which shows how much sportsmanship this incredible cyclist has. Vingegaard looked calm and controlled in every step of the way since stage 11. However, there was one worry when Vingegaard almost crashed on the final time trial on stage 20. After taking risks on the downhill, Vingegaard almost hit the wall overshooting a corner. He almost lost the Tour de France, but luckily he managed to keep control of the bike and finish second place on stage 20. After Vingegaard's incredible victory at this year's Tour de France, it's exciting to see what he is capable of. Right now, it seems like he's the only rider who can beat Pogacar up a climb. Let's see if he can win the Tour de France next year. Thank you for watching and comment down below how many Tour de France's you think Vingegaard can win in his career.